with that, we'll talk about the river crossing there. Alec, Nick, whatever you think about it. What do you remember? That's what they talk about the uh, crossing over the river. There's about three, three, three bridges. It's the third one. Third bridge. This is the first one, the second one. That's uh, three of them. That's what I know about the, the crossings. It starts from here, that the crossing was here. Feet right there at the narrow, shallow part, huh? Look. Yeah. And they would cross the river probably over there and then they would cross over. That one way over there is a little shallower. When, when they go to church, they would cross over. There was still, there's still a lot of ice. Then they, they would go across this, all the guys going to church. Here, you can talk about this. Uh, we'll, ask, we'll ask John 1 to dis describe this. John, do you remember any stories here for... About the river, crossing. About what? Just about a long time ago, about the crossings. But my dad used to tell me, you could see, you could see where they used to cross over, where they crossed over, way over there. Down here, I don't know all these places across here. They don't, they never did tell me over here. Then it would look like this, where you could see across, where they crossed over. And here they would put a lot of stakes in a, in a river to cross over. They would know exactly where they would cross over. Over there would be where all the horses would be alongside of the river during the winter times. They'd come bring their horses over along the hillside over there. They'd bring them over in the winter time and turn them loose from Camas Prairie. They would bring these horses. So a long time ago, they never had no feed. They didn't have no mow machines. Yeah, right around where Kerdam sits at. They used to talk about uh, it was a vision quest site. The white people. That's where my father was sent to by one of the elders. The person that brought him there just got home, and here my father walked in the house too. That's a vision quest site around where the dam is at. That's why, probably, why the the dam caved in because it was uh, being disturbed. A vision quest site.
They say along the river you never never be relaxed along the river. They say some one of these bridges are pretty dangerous. They said there was two kids there. They were floating and dirt fell into the river. And then they, they said they went to find him. They found him sitting in the river. And around the waist they were, you could see bruises around their waist. There's some, something along this river here. Oh, uh, Frank, um, who was it that drowned in the river here, down there? Oh, your father, uh, oh, Frank Pickering's daughter, found they found her standing in the river. And then those two kids, too, they were sitting in the river. Around the waist, you could see the bruises. They, they, they said this, this bridge is pretty, pretty dangerous, terrible. There's something in the river. It looks like something down in Cusick. There's another place that's no good. That's why there's something here. They said this girl that was standing in the river when they found her. And then those two kids were sitting in the river. Something grabbed them around the waist. They're That's why I don't <laughs> swim in this river. <laughs> and you might fart in the river. Ronan, which is school. You're coming back from Ronan. They were going to go down the river, down down to the river. Somebody was fixing where they were going to camp. They were fixing up a camp. They turned the horses loose, and Samuel went down to it, and he came right back. He says, we better put everything back together. We're going to go home. They would ask him what happened, and then he would he wouldn't say nothing. He would just go outside. He never did mention anything until he finally died. He saw must have saw something down in the river. Somebody told him to go home. There must be something terrible in the river. There was something else that I heard about about horses. That about pinto horses. They said, oh, that's over. In, that's over in Cusick. Not down by the river. There's a little stream that comes down. It goes toward the river. There's a trail that goes by. It's kind of. It's not too deep. There's a pinto horse or a good horse. Or just, or just good horses or pintos, always pintos. Not too far, but from here to there, they can go into the creek and they would drown and they'd die. I suppose there's something up around yeah. Dixon Way, yeah. And there was, his dad told about Dixon over that way. That there has to be some, at least one of them that will die in the river. A long time ago, the crossings are pretty shallow. That's where they used to cross over a long time ago, wherever they went to go. When they traveled around, they crossed at these narrow, shallow places. And also where the horses used to graze, Along the river by Perma, across, across the river there, 
So they used to graze their horses in the winter times. Along the river there, the islands, that's where they used to live, live while the horses were grazing off on across the river. Then down this other way is where the medicine dances used to be, but I never got to see that because I was small. I didn't get to see it. And these little creeks and rivers, where the bridges are at today, that they say there's a monster, whatever they call it, is there. And over this way, where the dam is today, it is a vision quest site. There's a lot of names along the river, but I, well, I already forgot the names of these places where they used to tell me of these little creeks going in. Where the painted rocks are at, are at, there is also a place where they grazed horses. That's, they stayed there for a year or so, down by the painted rocks. Today, when somebody go, goes down to talk about the talks about that place, they just kind of tell any kind of a story to it. All these little creeks and all of these other rivers. Uh, along the Clarksford, there was a, b a lot of their camping grounds. And down this river is what they used to tell me about. They're, where they camped in a fall, to their hunting camps. Over to where downstream, further away, there's a lot of their fall camping sites for hunting. They use these rivers. They knew what to, how to use it a long time ago, and they knew what to watch for these rivers. They gathered their many things along the river there. They said never, never relax along the river because something might. There's a lot of uh, lot of people been found found in about the crossings. One about wagons and one for you didn't get to see any. No, I didn't. I didn't get to see any of these. That's what they used to tell me about. About the crossings. Of a long time ago, they, they knew these places. Very, you wouldn't know if right away some somebody would float away if they didn't know how to cross over on this. So they took care of their ways going across. So it's fishing places. Okay. They, they'd know these places where there's little, little eddies, and these little deep places in the winter time. They would know these, they'd know these places. If today I went to look for one of them, I wouldn't know what to, what to look for. But a long time ago, they knew these places. They knew these places. These fishing and 
gathering of What about the trapping? Well, for the trapping, I don't really know anything much about it. From these islands and over towards Sipe, that's where they where there's a lot of beaver, where they they gather muskrats and things like that. On these islands is where you can find the beaver, their homes around there, where they build their buildings. That's something I don't know about how what they do, but when they trap, when a long time ago, they whatever they did. They have a special. They had a special way how they do these things. Whatever they, whatever they kill or whatever they capture, they knew. Well, today, if we told our kids to do something like this, they would know what, how to do these things. One time the creek went dry, and a fish never come back. A small trout. It's over there someplace. <laughs> and Louis Pierre. <laughs> we had a sweat house. Yeah, that's right, long time ago. This is where they used to camp to go hunting. When they were going hunting up here. And then up, and then over there, or where the burn is, they used to pick huckleberries. That's where they would camp and pick berries. That's they're all all those people are gone that used to have this when they pick berries there. Just us crazy people that are alive today. <laughs> to down there by the river in the crossing. Would you tell what you told by Joe Smoky about the crossings? Yeah, I'm not too sure that's what he just told me about. That's what he said. There was seven crossings. But this is where they used always cross at here. Also, about the little kids that drowned in the river. Oh, yeah. Down there. Yeah, my, great -grand my grandmother told me, she says, don't go swimming here. There's something no good in the river. There was people that drowned in These kids were floating down the river and they fell into the river. And then when they went after them, they found them sitting in the, in the river. They were looking at each other when they found. They were black and blue around the waist and something grabbed them around the waist. And then Frank Big Crane's daughter was right around the same area. 
And something, something that they found there in the river also. It didn't, it didn't be like Sam Hill, he didn't tell of what it was that they found. I guess there's something that's terrible in the river, that's what they say. That's why I quit swimming. They might, they might think I'm a grasshopper and bite, bite me out of the river. Now, around here, clear quick. They don't know why they call him Carl Clerk. Maybe it's clear, huh? All of these cricks. Whoever first camped there, they, they call them, call these names from these first people. And then I don't know too many things, and I forgot many of the things that they told me about. Over, over towards plains, and and uh, Inya Scary used to tell me these things. This would be a place. There's, and here's a place of. Vision Quest sites. When, when we go down down river toward Cusick, he, he would tell me many of these places. There was a big rock in the river. He said, would, he said you could go way over the big rock and you could sit there. That's a place of Vision Quest. I guess where the kid, the young kid, would be sent out there on a on that rock in the, in the evening time, that little boy would get home, found a medicine. I seen that big rock. He, he pointed it out to me. The big rock sticking out. I guess they, I guess they'd put a little boy there out there on top of that rock and then leave him there. Somehow the little boy would get back. It would. It's quite a ways from home. He pointed out this place of vision course. That's where we'll go throw John at. <laughs> we'll lose him. <laughs> He'll drown in a river, fart in a river. And long then, a long time ago, these rivers are like our rivers. Yeah. Yeah. These people that were going to the to the west, they would go down picking berries over toward Clark's Fork, and down that way there's all kinds of names of these campgrounds. Or where they play, went to the fall hunting places, they names of face, one place's face, what is the other place they call <laughs> The place there's the seal. The syrup that comes from tamarack. The place where there's from the when we'd be going there, somebody would chase the horses off and he would follow along. There was a tree, a tamarack tree, there would be a little hole. We'd, we'd, we'd like syrup. We'd take a little stick and we'd be eating the syrup. 
Maybe today somebody cut it down already on Thompson River and this way a little bit where it was at. That's where the tamarack was with the syrup in it. So the people that went fall hunting from St. Ignatius and the people that crossed from here would cross on these rivers here. When the, when the river thawed out, it was pretty rough for them crossing the rivers, all the ice. Yeah, you weren't along. No, I wasn't. It's people from way back, a long time ago. We, we were going to cross there one time. The, cross, the cows wouldn't cr cross. And then we tried to cross them, tried to cross them across the bridge, and they wouldn't do it. Oh, we can cross them down here at the shallow part of the river. And then they would, they had a hard time crossing, and some of the cows would cross and come back across again. Finally, we gave up. I don't know how it was. They wouldn't cross the, they wouldn't cross the bridge. They had the old wooden bridge. Yeah, we'd be whipping them along, and then they would come right beside us here. Yeah, we were quite the guys. We were stealing cows. There was a lady that had cows. They weren't branded. So they says, oh, let's steal them. And then we were going to try to cross them. Maybe we were told by the spirit not to take them. <laughs> Lucky we didn't get them across or we'd be in jail today. <laughs> Lucky the cows didn't cross. What about up in Polson? Do you know any of these places? No, I don't. I'm, I'm just right around here. There, down by the big eddy on the river. That's where Sam Hill ran away from. That's what John 1 was telling you about. He never did tell what happened to him, but he left from there. He saw something in the river. I even asked him, oh, why did you run away? No, he never, he never did tell why. Something there he must have saw. <laughs> Maybe he was told not to say anything. There used to be a lot of us that was camped around here. So we were up hunting and up in the burns. We had a sweat house here. I mean, Louis Pierre. That's where we were. We were kicked at, and we had a small sweat house. We went into the sweat, and he kicked me on the side. Oh, here he kicked me on the side, and here he had a cramp. I was just about ready to run out. Yeah, 
Here I, I killed some game over the mountain and they they've came to visit me. Nicholas, uh, Roy Boyd, Louis Pierre skinned him, skinned him out. Louis Pierre said, or said, all right, let's, we tied up the horses, packed our horses. He says, okay, I'll take this. No. He says, I'll take, I'll take my own, or do my own kill. He didn't, he didn't do any packing on his horse at all. He, we got, we came home and he, he came back, he didn't have anything on his horse. I don't know how it is, but a few days we've been there. While we were there all the time, he never did kill anything, and we came home. <laughs> he never got anything because he said he probably wouldn't. He's not going to. He kicked me on the side of the ribs. I don't know how many days. The sweat house. He's quite a, quite a person, Louis Pierre. When I first when I, when I first saw him, I thought he was pretty mean. The way he looked. When I got to know him, you know, he was quite a guy, nice, nice person. When we were up in a rough country, he never did get mad. One time we went up the mountain, there was a lot of snow on the ground. Right. When first snow comes on his car, he fell off the horse. The cinch, the cinch was pretty sh short, I guess. He knew that there was three times that Louis Pierre fell off the horse. John's brother. I guess it was John's brother that was along with him. We looked at at Louis Pierre, who's under the horse lane. So we thought maybe he got hurt on because he was in the back. We didn't say anything. Then he looked at us and said, laugh. I didn't get hurt. 